The Friedel Crafts acylation reaction allows us to add a carbon oxygen double bond with a carbon chain to a benzene ring. The acyl group, which isn't a super common term, is referring to this reagent right here carbon oxygen double bond with an alkyl group on one side and a chlorine on the other. You'll notice that the reagents for this reaction are very similar to Friedel Crafts alkylation. In general, it's a pretty similar reaction. Let's have a look at the mechanism of the reaction and the um, the electrophile that is used in this reaction is a positively charged carbon, but this is not a regular carbocation. This carbon is part of a carbon oxygen double bond. And because of this, this particular electrophile does not undergo rearrangement. So this is one advantage that this reaction has over the Friedel Crafts alkylation reaction. Condition number one that we're going to make a note of, there is no rearrangement. And in this reaction, our sigma complexes, the resonant structure is the same as what we would normally expect, just seeing that positive charge delocalized around the ring. At the end, we use the same base, AlCl4- as is used in Friedel Crafts alkylation. Here's our product of the reaction, aromaticity has been returned to the ring. Now you might be thinking this is really a different product from what we get with Friedel Crafts alkylation, so why are we comparing conditions like no rearrangement, things like that? Well, the reason is because this product of the Friedel Crafts acylation reaction is very easily reduced to a regular alkyl group using something called amalgamated zinc. That's zinc that's been mushed together with mercury and some hydrochloric acid. We can just simply remove that carbon oxygen double bond. It doesn't remove the carbon, so the carbon of the carbon oxygen double bond is still there, but this does allow us to put an alkyl group on the benzene ring, the same way we would do with Friedel Crafts alkylation, but without dealing with any of the issues of Friedel Crafts alkylation. Um, a second positive for this is that there is no multiple alkylation. So one of the issues with Friedel Crafts alkylation is that once you get one alkyl group on the ring, it just tries to add more and more and more. This is a reaction that takes place only one time. So this is a monoacylation, one group only. We don't get multiple alkyl groups being added. This little step right here, the reaction, I just wanna give you a, a name for this. This reaction is referred to as the Clemenson reduction. And in terms of adding an alkyl group to a benzene ring, this two-step process is definitely the best way to go because it allows you to have full control over the actual alkyl group that's being put on the benzene ring.